Have you ever stopped to think, why is it only few people have an amazing relationship? Maswerte lang ba sila? Are they the chosen ones, perhaps? But let me tell you this. Great relationship takes work. It takes time. Relationships are hard, most especially if you are married. Susubukin ka ng panahon. Susubukin ka ng pagkakataon. When everything is not right, why don't you look back on the days when all you ever wanted is to spend your lives with each other? Kung nakaka-relate ka and you are married, this video is for you. I'm Lurvin. I am not a love expert, but I can share with you my experiences. My wife and I have been married for three years. We are blessed to have two kids. I'm not saying I have a perfect relationship. Wala naman atang perfect sa mundo. But all I can say is that we are both being the best version of ourselves. Huwag na natin patagalin. Pag-usapan na natin. Marriage Advices. Tara! Number one. Always be honest with your partner. Never hide anything from her. Whenever you keep vital information from your partner, you're not protecting her. You're just making the situation worse. Kung sakaling may gusto kong sabihin at nagtakot ka sa magiging reaksyon niya dahil maiinis siya or magagalit siya, have the courage to speak up but be prepared for the consequences. At the end of the day, Sino ba yung gusto mong makaalam? Yung kapitbahay nyo? Yung friends mo? Sino ba yung magbibigay solusyon kung sakaling magkaroon ng aberya sa huli? Kayong mag-asawa lang din. Kaya, always open up with your wife. Second, control your emotions. Be careful of the words you say when you're angry. Normal na magtalo. It's healthy in a relationship. But you have to be careful. Words can hurt and even damage one's self-esteem. When you have something in mind and you're angry, isipin mo muna maigi. Compose yourself. Bakit? Kasi pag sinabi mo yan, hindi mo na yung maibabalik. Tandaan mo, you're still speaking with your love. The love of your life. Your other half. Yung taong pinakasalan mo, yung taong sabi mo, hindi mo iiwanan, uunawain mo, na kahit anong mangyari, mamahalin mo pa rin siya at hindi sasaktan. It's far more important that you hear each other out rather than you winning an argument. Dahil kahit anong mangyari, sa pagkatalo niyo ng misis mo, sabihin mo, ikaw yung lumabas na tama at the end of the day nasaktan mo pa rin yung asawa mo at talo ka doon third be sensitive in my case I am just the one working my wife is a stay at home mom naalagaan niya yung dalawang anak namin and based on my experience hindi madali na buong araw nasa bahay ka yung iba sinasabi Uy, ang sarap-sarap naman. Nandiyan ka lang sa bahay. It's not true. Sa bahay, hindi natatapos ang gawain. Sa work mo, you have your break. Mas marami ka nakakausap na tao. Kaya kahit ako, pagod galing trabaho, pag uwi ko, hindi ko pwedeng irason na ako naman yung nagbibigay ng pera eh. Ako yung tataguhid sa pamilya na to. Hindi ko pwedeng sabihin yun. Dahil unang-una, kung may pagkakataon, yung asawa mo mas gugustihin niya magtrabaho kaysa magstay sa bahay. But she's doing this for you. Kasi mahal ka niya. Dahil tanggap niya yung buhay na pinasok niya simula nung pasalan mo siya. Kaya why not return the favor to her? Ano man lang yung pag mo galing trabaho, tanong mo sa kanya kung ano mga bagay na pwede mong maitulong para makagaang sa mga gagawin niya at makapagpahinga na siya. Always check on your wife. Sabi ka ng sabi na 
gusto mo to, gusto ka ng ganito, pagod ako. But, did it come to a point in time that you asked her, okay ka lang ba? Paano kita matutulungan? Think of it. You have to work as a team. Hindi mo na lang buhay to. Buhay ni nang mag-asawa. Whenever you will make a major decision, always involve your partner. Whenever you have a problem, inform your partner and not anyone else. Kasi, ito yung maglalayo sa inyo bilang mag-asawa. It could take two of you more this time. As husband and wife, you two are counted as one. May cheerleader ka, may MVP ka. We have to be able to rely on each other in times of trouble. Lastly, don't compare your marriage with others. Iba't iba kayo ng pinagdaanan. Sa umpisa, masaya, okay. But when real life kicks in, doon masusubukan kung gaano katatagi yung relasyon niyo. Huwag kayong bibitaw. Kapit lang. Again, love is not a feeling. It is a decision and commitment. Big words, but I'm sure if you commit yourself to your partner, it can do greater good. Lagi mo iintindihin yung kapakanan ng partner mo. Hindi na lang ikaw to. Mahal ka ng asawa mo, higit pa sa lahat. Kaya ikaw yung pinakasalan niya. Don't make her regret her decision. Huwag kang bibitaw. Laban lang. Kaya niyan. Pag-anayin niyo sa buong mundo na nagmamahalan kayo at totoo yung pagmamahal niyo. And nothing in this world can tear you apart. Mas masarap pakinggan pag may nagtanong sa inyo kung kasal ba kayo at ang sagot niyo married and happy. Thank you for watching this video mga idol. Sana may napulot kayo na aral. Stay updated and be notified sa mga upcoming episodes natin. Maraming salamat mga idol. Nabuhay kayo. And I'm...